AFTV tie, 2 0 away from home, good win. Black Live Matters. And I want to say my hearts and thoughts and prayers go out to everybody affected with coronavirus and big thanks and respect to the National Health Service and all the key health workers. I was, yeah. gonna have a, I was gonna have a debate with you yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about, about, about the yeah, taking yeah. the knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see? Do you see what Les Ferdinand says? Yes. Do you, do, do you agree now? That, do you agree with him? Basically, Les Ferdinand was saying, um, Les Ferdinand, obviously, black player, um, co -owned, well, co. Uh, what's his position? Director QPR, of football director of football at uh, QPR, yeah. and he was saying that he feels now it's time to stop taking the knee. Mm. That we've made that message clear. It's been a great symbol. Mm. Brilliant how all the players have got behind it, but time now for action. You know what I mean? That's done. Let's move on. Do you agree with that? Not really. In the fact that um, I saw, I don't know if you saw what um, Micah, Micah Richard said. He said he's with Les with that, but it's still symbolic. It's still something that when you say your troops was fantastic enough to say, we must never, ever forget what happened to Paul George. You know what I mean? Mm. So... It's not a bad thing if it still keeps it. So um, George Floyd. Oh, sorry. George Floyd. This is boy George. Huh? What are you on about, man? <laughs> <laughs> what George? George? <laughs> it's your accent, man. You know what I mean? Why? 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 I hear what you. I hear what you're saying on that, but I hear what you're saying. Never forget. But we can't just keep doing it forever. I, I, I know we're not even talking about the football right now, but. No. The symbol of doing it was great, but when are we going to stop and move on to just say, right, kind of move off from that? I don't know. Well, Robbie, what I say is we'll stop when things are done, when we no longer have to take the knee and, and talk about Black Lives Matter. But until then, I still think it's important. It's a symbolic gesture. Okay, and respect. respect. Um, but to, let's talk about the football now. Yeah. 2-0, that was a good win. Good win away from home at Leicester. A place that, you know, that I think the last three occasions we've, we've been there, we've been beaten and beaten badly as well. And, um, all right, I know they have players missing. We have players missing. Changes always made in the Carabao Cup, but they still had a, quite a strong team out. We had a decent team out and it was a good win. Yeah, it was a good win and it was very, very comfortable. Obviously, the first start was possibly a bit, a bit shaky, but I thought all over the game, I thought we played really well and... 2-0 was the least we deserved, maybe, mm. maybe even more. It's interesting that um, I thought that Bukayo should have had a penalty, but you know, yeah. and, mm. you know, but there's no VAR apparently, but you know, I don't know mm. what the linesman or woman was doing, but yeah, 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 very happy. I think, yeah, Troops is right. Um, the last time we won, I think we won 5-2. Mm. That I, was a while back though, but we, we, recent times we've been going there, mm. we've been getting spanked. We got, we got. No, no, well, we have been. No, no, we got, we got. You've been there. <laughs> <laughs> You've been there. Yeah, I mean, that time when they beat us 3 0, 3 1. We're going to be getting battered there, man. So that was good. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Robbie. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Robbie. I was there, but then, you know, when you look at those games, I don't want to sound pedantic for want to use other word, but I remember um, Ainsley getting sent off, being mugged by James Madison. I also remember. Um, what is it? I think Wilfred, Wilfred, me and Kalechi's countryman, hand, hand, handling the ball in the area and it not going to VR. So, you know, it's, it's um, a couple of seasons that have gone against us, but, you know, that's how it goes. But Who stood out for you tonight? Well, I was disappointed to see Reese go off because I thought he played well, mm. you know. But um, I thought Nicholas done well in the second half. And Ed, Ed, Eddie as well, I've got to give Eddie... Mm. Props because in the first half, I don't know if he touched the ball, he didn't get no service. But the one chance he had, just like against West Ham, he put it away. So mm. that's, he's, that's he's doing well. A guy's come through the academy. I, I mean, great to see so many players on that pitch today that have come through Arsenal's academy and not just making up the numbers there. They are like proper established Arsenal players now. Absolutely. <laughs> And I got a message troops. I'm really going to miss troops. So if I keep on keep on saying troops, he'll hopefully stay in my memory. He, even though he's not hopefully going too far, he's laughing in the background because he he was saying a fantastic thing that 
<laughs> they're all playing to get they're all playing with each other they all say gag when they're possible which is it's a emo- you know what <laughs> when you says that it's emotional it's emotional because they've all come from the academy and they're all fantastic young men to chat to the academy, absolutely and I've, and I've been lucky enough to chat to all of them and mm. they're fantastic to chat to and it's fantastic what they do what they're doing now is what they did in academy and so proud of all of them and long may it continue now <laughs> Come next week, Monday. The the joke thing gone out the window now. That's when the big man thing, as they say, comes up. Liverpool away from home. That is a. Can we go there and get a result? Boy, Robbie, you're really boy. You're really running it tonight. But I like the way he said now, as if he's changed. You know, you know, in the, in the because it's a much different game. That's why I'm saying it in that way. I know, but it's like you know when when you know it's um, drama. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, Robbie, very good man. You should, you, you should do narration. You should do narration seriously, because that was weird. Now the change, yeah, 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 absolutely. It is a different, absolutely fantastic. I'll get it in before, before Jim starts saying it behind me. So, yeah, it, it's a difficult game, but like everyone's been saying, it's the first time in a long time we can actually go into that game with confidence that we can at least get a result. It's going to be difficult, and like Troop said, I'm. <laughs> I'm quite intrigued all the time. Then we're going to be about the ball a lot. You know, we're going to have to do it with that. We've got experience of playing Manchester City, you know, in the semi-final. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but, you know. Like, win? Sorry, go ahead. Can we win? <laughs> a win, of, of, course, of course we can. Of course we can win. I would never say anything else. You feel we can win? You feel? Yeah. Or you just, you, you, I'm not saying to you just say what you normally say. Do you honestly confident you think that we can go to Liverpool and get a win. You're not, say, you're not saying I should say, say, say. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, other Michael Jacksons and Paul McCartney's are available. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, but yeah, but the thing is, Robbie, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me, I'm always, no, but I, I, I always believe we can win. So, you know, it's, it's just me. It's just, yeah, I think, I think we can win. I think we can win. Obviously, we, if we're honest, we'd probably take a draw now, but why, why not? Mikel has done a fantastic job, you know, and no disrespect to Liverpool. If we can do or have the chances that Leeds United had, then Liverpool will be in trouble. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why not? We, we, have, we, have, we have to be hopeful. But obviously, we have to employ the tactics or Mikel's employ the tactics that beat, not necessarily Chelsea, but Manchester City. And if we can do that, then hopefully we'll get a positive result. It's Robbie here from AFTV. Don't forget to check out AFTV on Flick for all the latest transfer rumours, for all the information on Arsenal, for all the information on AFTV. You can check me there for Q&As on a regular basis. The link is in the description. It is free to download. Download it right now.